Hey, this is Lewis from EastCoastBallers.com, about to bring you a review of the Die NT10. Comes in a nice die carrying case, which is comes with double zippers. There's the NT. I'll remove that out right now so we can see that. And let's go over what everything comes in the case. We have the gun. comes with the owner's manual, warranty card, little tip sheet, your inserts, your colored o-rings, your die tool, and a 14 inch die ultralight. One of, the, one of the best barrels out there on the market. Put the case to the side here. Now, let's see. Your owner's manual that comes with it is in color. It basically tells you your setup of everything, like the different colors of your lights for your board, how to power it on and off, your different settings, and your, what each size color o-ring is. It's also on the box itself. And basically the breakdown of your marker, how to assemble and and disassemble it, and how to open up your grips. Okay. Now let's see. Your die toolkit comes with all the basically what would normally be Allen keys. It comes with them already all on the tool itself, as well as an O-ring pick, like a and also like a plunger, a little knife. It's basically like a Swiss Army knife for, for everything you need for your paintball gun. You use that a little bit. Your NT bolt tip spacer mod. This is pretty much a quick reference to how to set up your bolt for your gun. We'll be using that a little bit later. Warranty card. Always fill it out, send it in. Basically, so if anything goes wrong, it's covered under warranty. Your baby send it in. Let's see. Okay. One of the newest things that Die started doing was start doing colored O-rings, which would which I'll show you how the colors match on the bolt itself. So basically, every color pertains to a particular size. Before they say use a 020 or use a 014. This eliminates it by matching the color to the little color chart that comes with it. Now for the die NT itself. As you can see it comes with the Hyper 3 rig, the airport ASA, let me turn it over so you can see the on off. Then you have your clamping feed neck which is basically the way you would tighten it is by turning it and loosening it. That's where you would tighten around your hopper. Of course, die is great. Ultralight frame, which is great, great feeling for the hands when you're holding it. So therefore, you don't have to worry about getting heavy or anything. It feels so good. And then you have what they got is the reach trigger which is a sweet trigger. I don't see a point of upgrading it. I love it. And then let's see. Now, as you can see here, this is the zombie one. There are several other models, which they actually have on sale at PunishersPB.com starting at $9.99.95. So check them out. And I believe they also come with a free die rotor as well. So check, it, check that out on their website. Okay, and let me go ahead and take out the boost bolt. So we go over the bolt and see the different setup of O-rings. There we go. As you can see that you have a blue O-ring on the bolt itself and on the cylinder you have your green then you have your mod spacer as well as you have other spacers to basically set up 
for your different velocities, depending on what area you in, it's depending on how many you might need. So from there, let's go ahead and start taking apart the boost bolt. There's the main body um, spacer. And as you can see, it's pretty much just as just your volume of air that comes through here. Start taking this apart. Now, on, for in order to take out your bolt from the cylinder, you must remove this front O-ring. Basically, you go to your, your little utility, and you have an O-ring pick. Be careful how you grab it. Make sure you grab underneath it. Don't dig into the bolt itself. And you should be able to pull it right on off. There we go. Then the bolt comes out from the cylinder. Then here you'll see your plunger. I'm going to grab a towel because it's got grease on it. And the tool that's actually on your tool part to separate your, your plunger from the actual bolt itself. cloth to hold it here. There we go. Okay, let's pull the plunger out with the spring. And basically there is your boost bolt. And basically simple maintenance of it is clean your all your O-rings on your bolt. And when you do it, you can use any lube for your for your gun that you prefer to choose. There's several to choose from. It does come with dye slit that you can use, uh, but most of the time you can use whichever lube you prefer. All right. Now, basically, this is your spring that you're going to put back on here. And basically for your for the NTs now, um, you'll see that it's slotted right here. See if we can zoom in a little bit on it. Yep, so you see where it's slotted. That was one of the modifications they did when they uh, had to do a re-release on it. Is where they slotted this one. So now the, that's one of the parts they fixed as well, a new spring as well. So this is currently up to date and pretty much anyone you order now are currently up to date. Okay, so we go get some lube for this, and you want to put a light coat, nothing heavy, just on your O-ring. Same thing on the two on the back. You want to go ahead, put your spring back on, drop it back into the plunger itself. All right just push it in then you want to lube your o-rings over here you'll see the green you'll see a blue which is basically to help you keep idea on what o-rings is what because it's a lot easier now to maintain when they can just call and say hey switch out one of your o-rings put on another green one there you go they don't have to tell you what size then you want to put a little bit of lube right here on the back of the bolt that goes into that right there. Not much, not a lot, just a little for that seal. Give a little push and twist. And put some on this back of the bolt to seal that as well. Okay, that part is done. There's an O-ring inside the cylinder. I don't know if you can see that. It's an orange, which is a 17. So we're gonna put a little loop inside here. Okay. And then you wanna put some lube on the two outside O-rings. Now for your bolt, you have two brown ones. You're gonna loop those. What I tend to do is put 
some on the brown and then I put a little bit actually on the bolt itself so make sure I get enough on that orange o-ring that's inside the cylinder. Insert the bolt. Put it in and slide it back a little bit back and forth so the lube gets onto that orange o-ring. Put the blue o-ring onto the tip of the bolt. Loop that up. Wipe some, and then you want to screw it back together. And then your bolt is assembled back together. Now, you can put the mod space insert back on it. It's up to you. The spacer is dependent on basically what areas you play in might change your velocity. So I tend to run just with the mod spacer and that's it. And then put it in. And we're gonna tighten it back up. This is one of the greatest things they ever given. A cool all purpose utility. Tighten it back up. Good to go. This also uses their eye pipe, which is basically the ball denton and as well as the pipe to keep your um, keep the inside of your gun clean. So basically it's all in one. Simple, just push it in, line it up, and it'll go right on in. Just like that. And so go ahead, this is what it looks like fully done with the barrel. This is going out a little bit. Okay. And this is the Die NT10. This is a particular zombie model, but there are several other kinds um, you could check check out for. And Punisher PB, like I said before, has several on sale starting at $9.99.95. They actually come with a die rotor. So check them out. It's one of the smoothest guns you'll ever shoot.